And next up, before we have some time for questions, we have Deborah Needham, who will be talking about the CLIPS 19C delivery to the Lunar Pole. Thank you, Parvati. Can everyone hear me all right? Yeah, loud and clear. Fantastic. All right, yes, so I'm going to be talking about um, the first delivery of uh, lunar science payloads to the south polar region of the moon. Um, so go to the next slide, please. Um, so yes, yeah, so the, uh, we very recently announced the selection of mass and space systems um, as the uh, vendor to deliver our first payloads um, to the lunar south pole, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, the manifest uh, was selected previously um, from the NPLP, so the NASA uh, provided uh, lunar payloads and the LSIP payload um, selectees, the grantees. Um, and the and I'll go into more detail about the manifest in just a second, but the overall objective for these selected payloads are to demonstrate the technologies for Viper. So you've already heard about Viper from Tony. Um, and then also um, in and of themselves, the search for volatiles in the exosphere, regolith, and uh, near substrate um, beneath the lander, and then characterize the radiation environment in preparation for the arrival of crew in the in the south polar region of the moon. Um, I'm not going to talk about a uh, landing site um, in ex in extreme detail, just to say that that site selection process is ongoing. Um, it's it's a collaborative effort between the SEO office, um, where um, I'm a an acting um, program scientist right now um, in the so that's the exploration space uh, exploration <laughs> science strategy and integration office um, and then the clips program office as well as of course the payload PIs and, and Maston so making sure that the uh, site selected is going to maximize the science return from the manifest um, so the next slide please um, so this is the the manifest and again the the Objectives of these instruments span from technology to, uh, demonstration to science and then um, exploration as well. So sampler, and I'll go into the specific objectives of each of these in a moment, but um, we have uh, sampler and moon rover, um, which are the uh, technology de uh, demonstration. And then we've got uh, Nervous and Alcyrus, uh, M Solo, um, Heimdale, and our Heimdall and Let's and NSS, which will be deployed on the rover on Moon Ranger, um, to uh, look at the science um, in detail. Um, so the the total mass that were allocated, um, uh, the baseline masses are included for each of the instruments. Um, and those all those instruments are all in their um, stages of finalizing development in advance um, of the launch that's scheduled for the later half of 2022. So again, that'll be the first. Uh, First delivery to the South Pole. Okay, so go to the next slide, please. Um, so the detailed um, objectives of this manifest: so sampler is the sample acquisition, morphology, filtering, and probing lunar regolith. Um, so again, this is a qualifying technology for future lunar missions, and um, it's the it's Two minutes arm, Thank you. Um, it's an arm to that will acquire samples, and then it has a sieve attachment that can filter samples to isolate particle size distributions. Um, and then it's going to capture regolith geotechnical data. Um, and then Nervous uh, is um, aiming to detect the presence of water and hydroxyl as a function of illumination, surface temperature, and local time of day. Um, Elsiris, the compact infrared imaging system, um, is going to measure surface mineralogy, temperature, and thermophysical properties of the lunar surface at a resolution of less than one centimeter. And SOLO is the mass spectrometer observing lunar operations. Um, and that's going to measure composition and day-night changes of natural and delivered gases near the lander. Um, and it's also going to um, watch moon, moon, moon Ranger as it goes off um, to see what gets kicked off, uh, kicked up by the, the rover. Um, Heimdall is a collection of cameras that's going to be used to characterize the regolith and terrain at the landing site um, and support autonomous navigation capabilities. Um, and then record and really look at the plume that's picked up upon, uh, during descent um, to help record and model um, those interactions during um, for future missions as well. And then lunar uh, linear energy transfer spectrometer LETS um, is going to um, look at the radiation uh, incidents on um, the in the vicinity of the lander um, in preparation for crew. Yes, thanks. And then Moon Ranger, um, and with the neutron spectrometer system on board, is going to demonstrate autonomous microwave micro rover capabilities during 
lunar polar exploration and indirectly detect potential water um, in the soil up to three feet below the surface. So the next slide is just briefly going to discuss or describe or indicate future clips opportunities that are coming up. Um, and I'm uh, just really quickly, the prime one um, is the mass spectrometer and drill that's going to come out or that came out last week for the vendors. And then um, there's going to be an equatorial delivery to Chrissy and ba uh, Basin coming up as well. Um, and then look for the prism one and two payload uh, opportunities expected in just the next couple months. And those are going to Reiner Gamma, Lunar Swirl, and Schrodinger Basin Impact Melt. And I'll stop there. All right. Thanks, Deborah.